Hello, entrepreneurs. Joe DeCara coming to you live from downtown Flushing, New York for another amazing episode of How to Win at Business. And if you're watching live, please give me a hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. And, and tonight, folks, we're going to start talking about, uh, well, something I've been talking about for, for years, for years, and I'll, I'll probably be talking about it for years. And only we give it it's the same subject with different titles, a different slant, another way of looking at it. And tonight, folks, we're talking about how an LLC is taxed because there are millions of entrepreneurs that are forming LLCs for, I believe, the wrong reasons. You know, LLCs are, are searched on the internet probably, I think, a thousand times more than S Corps. Even though S corps are really the preferred way to do business as a as a solopreneur as a small business owner, uh, you know, if you don't know me, I, I am a CPA. I've been doing this for over thirty five years. These rules have never changed. Being an S corp was the preferred way to do business before they had LLCs. Before they had LLCs, LLCs were not created for small business entities. It was, they were not created for that purpose. LLCs do have a, a place in business, but not for somebody just starting a business that wants to have an operating entity. And what I, what I mean by an operating entity is an entity that's gonna produce ordinary income. And, and the difference is there's ordinary income and then there's passive income. A passive income comes from uh, activities like rental real estate. Don't ask me why, but rental. Well, I do know why, because rich people own, own real estate. So rental real estate is in a whole different tax category than, than regular businesses. That, that is absolutely not fair. That is not fair at all. But the, that's the way it is. That's the way our, uh, our, our country was built to favor the rich people, okay? So regular folks, regular people that have never started a business before uh, have an idea, they're entrepreneurs, and they go out and, and they do an LLC. And I could see why, because that's what everybody's doing. And they're, they're probably not talking to a professional, even though I know plenty of professionals that tell people to be an LLC. And that's just absolutely wrong. That's just absolutely wrong. So the way the, an LLC is taxed is very simple. You see, the, the IRS does not recognize what an LLC is. There is no tax form for an LLC. It's what they call a disregarded entity. It's almost like the IRS says, that's great, you know, for state, ta for state law, for legal purposes, you can be an LLC, but we don't have a form for that, and we're not creating a whole nother category of, of business returns. That's not what they were, that's not why LLCs were, were created. LLCs were actually created at the state level for, for wealthy individuals that wanted to get the pass through uh, benefits, the pass through tax benefits from their from their passive activities. Now, they were limited. They were limited because of the, the structure of the tax code. And, and somehow they broke through, they passed the state law, and then they, they had to go to the IRS and get approval to, to file their taxes as this new entity. Uh, it was probably a monumental task, but eventually now the whole country is doing LLCs and they're unfortunately doing them for the wrong reasons. Now, it, those reasons don't really matter for the, for the purposes of this training. Uh, the purposes of this training is to explain to you the tax ramifications of being an LLC. And, and the tax ramifications are zero. You get no tax classification, you get no tax benefits, folks. That makes me want to go like this. Why? Why do people do it? 
because they just don't know what they don't know. Did you ever feel like that? I know, I know that I feel like that uh, with a lot of things. When it comes to taxes and bookkeeping and accounting, I'm pretty comfortable. But when there's something I have to get into that I don't know about, I'm not too comfortable. So I want to find out. And, and tonight I'm going to explain to you how to overcome the problem that you just created by, by, by forming an LLC. Okay. So there's this form and it's very, very simple. The IRS created this form for people that have made the, this kind of mistake. I'm going to try to maximize it. So that you could see the whole form. And so what this is, it's called, it's form 8832. That doesn't matter to you, but uh, what it is, it's, it's the form where you can elect on how you want to be taxed as an LLC. So they say, okay, you're a disregarded entity. What that means is you default, you default to whatever classification they, they have set up. So if you're a single member LLC, they consider you a sole proprietor for tax purposes. Now, if you watch any of my, my uh, videos, my workshops, being a sole proprietor is absolutely the worst way that anybody could be doing business for a number of reasons. But let's just say that you agree with me. Let's just say, oh, yeah, I don't want to be taxed as a, as a sole proprietor. Uh, well, on this form, you could tell them that you want to be taxed as a, as a corporation, okay? And you do it over here, election. Uh, election, electing to be taxed as an association, taxable as a corporation. So that's what you would do. Okay, so now my preferred form of doing business is an S-Corp. This does not make you an S-Corp. This only tells them that you want to be taxed as a regular corporation. Now, you're still an LLC forever. It, that starts at the state level. So you're still an LLC for, for state registration purposes, but for tax purposes, you are taxed as a corporation. And I know that that's probably a little bit confusing, but th this is how you do it. Now, if you formed an LLC and you never made this election and you haven't filed returns, they have what they call late election uh, relief. And because guess what, folks? A lot of a lot of people have made this mistake, and and it probably got back to the IRS. So the IRS said, "Hey, we're going to give you a chance." So if if you haven't actually filed a return yet. Or even if you have, we're going to let you go back to the last period that hasn't been filed and let you change how you're how you're being taxed. So, for instance, I, I just got a client that has not filed his taxes in 2019 and 2020, and he has a, an active LLC. Now, what that means is he's paid the state uh, registration fees. Every state has annual fees. And if you don't pay them... You, you are not a corporation anymore. So he's got an active LLC. It's more beneficial for him to do business as an S Corp. So we can file this form. We have the option of filing this form late and saying, hey, uh, we want to be taxed as, an, as, an, as a corporation going back to January 1st, 2021. And if you, if you want to do it yourself, because this is a pretty simple form, uh, you know, they want an explanation and you could say, hey, I'm, I'm a new taxpayer. I got bad. I got the wrong advice or I got no advice. And, and I would like to, you know, do a late election. And down here, down here, I'm going to show you uh, where you can actually, they give you the instructions on here, late classification relief. So it's on the bottom of page six. It gives you the exact, and then over here, there's part two. Basically, if you fill this form out, they're probably going to let you go unless you don't actually qualify. 
so this is important. Now, if you're going to do this, you still, and you want to be an S Corp, you still have to file form 2553. Uh, That's an election to be taxed as an S Corp. And, and just like the late election uh, for the entity classification, S Corps get a similar uh, late election relief. Now, just to be transparent, what's going to happen is if we decide to go back and, and, and make our new client an S Corp, we're going to file the returns and they're going to get hit with, with late filing penalties from the IRS. Now, I know that's coming. And I also know that I have about a 99.9% .9 chance of getting those penalties abated based on reasonable cause. So that's my story. I'm sticking with it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If, if you want to connect with me, you know, I've had my, uh, my connection thing here scrolling, but I, I didn't invite you. I would love to invite anybody that hasn't already spoken to me. Uh, and even if you have spoken to me, you know, just look, if you want to chat about your business, about taxes, uh, just don't uh, book a chat with me to pitch me anything. If you want to do that, you can go here, which is, where is it? Mastermindwithjoedechara.com. We have a lot of fun every Saturday afternoon from 12 to 3.30. We play Japardi. We have games. We network. We learn and we grow. And then on Tuesdays, we have Tech Tuesday, where, where my, my assistant, uh, Elizabeth Frederick, will we'll answer your questions and give training on just about any uh, of the technology that's out there. I don't know how she knows this stuff. Uh, it's a moving target. So we're all blessed to have her. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, and again, if you want to connect with me, just go to Time with Joe. And, and I appreciate it. Thank you.